As you walk to our school, you find several entrances, one to the right, one straight ahead at the gold doors, and then the main entrance, which is located at the green doors. Faculty, staff, and pre-K students must walk through these green doors before entering the building. We walk down the ramp. Normally you would buzz in. With the security camera looking through, we would scan in. Open these green doors. Temperatures are taken. And then we move on to the next set of doors to scan in. Then as we walk through, as we walk through, we see the gym. And we see students participating in physical education activities and morning care. We have one of our pre-K classrooms with a sink and its very own bathroom. Out here we have another entranceway to another classroom, our kindergarten classroom. Which has its smart board, new shades, an added space within the classroom. So there's a multitude of levels for the students. All water fountains have been replaced and have been changed into water bottle fillers throughout the building. And as we continue, we see our other pre-K classroom. which is located across from our elevator entrance, our maintenance closet, which is locked down there. And our other pre-K classroom, which is equipped with two bathrooms for the students, along with a monitoring system that reaches outside. You see the, mo the mobile air purifiers and the multiple abilities of learning for the students. to the next level. The building is set up where you go from either side leads to the next floor. All stairwells lead up and down. We walk through, we see the first floor. With the cafeteria right ahead of us. This is just the hallway views of everything. As you see, children decorations on the wall, all of their work. Down those stairs, lead out to the rectory and down to the kindergarten. 
you see fire extinguishers in every stairwell. As we make our way to the second floor, this is where the main office is. The main office, the fourth grade classroom, the library, and the principal's office. We now go up to the third floor. The third floor is where our middle school stays. And again, as you see, there is a fire extinguisher in every stairwell. A ladder that leads to the roof access for elevator access and the other rooms. See the separate labs, the classrooms, which will be featured in our video later. You'll be able to see all the classrooms throughout the rest of the video. Hello, I love St. Thomas because my uncle and dad used to go there. And be, because my rugby mates are there, and because I love my teachers, and I learn a lot. St. Thomas is important to me because my teachers help me achieve all my educational goals. I love that everybody knows each other and it doesn't matter what grade you're in. Mr. Cho works very hard to keep us safe every day. I am very happy and lucky to be a student at St. Thomas. The reason why St. Thomas is important to me is because I made a lot of friends, the principal and the teachers are nice, and it's overall an amazing school. I love going there. I think St. Thomas is very nice. It's because all the teachers are very respectful and they teach me how to be just like them and follow the rules. Also, my friends are caring and I care for them too. I already did. Oh. Bless you. Now you're not taking any of my creative ideas. I was in there last year, but now they're going to smash. In there? Yeah. Not in there last year. Yeah, it was for seventh grade. Seventh grade, I was there. Are we going to have Spanish in there? No. Are we not? No. No. Spanish is not
Can you get this one? I already did. You're sullen. You're withdrawn. You are. Is he standing by and he's to himself? So when you're to yourself, you're, you're trying to silence. Okay? So sullen would go along with silence. Okay, continue the reading. Like to be called who? JJ. JJ, awesome. Wow, now you're really killing me because I'm the worst with names to begin with. Now I have to remember Jazzy and JJ. What? JJ. JJ. Bathroom boy. <laughs> <laughs> the Constitution, so I think it's important if you don't know anything about the Constitution that you should learn about it so that you know what, what when, you know, a newscast or, um, you know, a news reporter speaks about, you know, infringement on the Constitution, you know what it is. How many people know what it is? 